There's so many different tracks that I want to experience. Hopefully through, you know, just pushing hard and just showcasing my skills, I'll be able to live out my dream for as long as I can and, and do it until, until I can no more. It's difficult to get into the whole motorsport game. It's so expensive. When one wants to become a professional race car driver, I say good luck. If Joey was born in, in a family with money and, and I started at a young age, she would have definitely been in like professional motorsport for bikes and cars. Joey's not accredited to be among professional car racers, right? That takes years. I just last month I turned 40 years old, man. Nobody could tell me to stop. I'm not stopping. I'm always gonna have that feeling. I, I, I feel like I'm a kid still when I get behind the wheel or in the car, you know? Just got loaded right now. This is my third trip of the day, and we're heading to 58 and uh, 8th Avenue to one of my jobs in the city. For 21 years now, this this year, I've been driving a, a cement truck. I work for the Teamsters 282 Union. It's rough, man, because I wake up, you know, 4:30 in the morning. I start work usually 5:30, and then I could finish at 6 o'clock at night. And then I gotta hit the gym. It's physically draining. And then whatever stuff I do with the Empire Boys or Stun X or whatever else, or uh, you know, the car or bike game, in my free time. Empire Boys is a car group, but it's basically a family, first and foremost. If it comes to be a racing team, I'll put Joey. Yo, Joey, you're gonna race for us now. But he would love to do that shit. Joey's different. You see him in the streets, he's calm, but when he's in the car, he's a whole different other person. Yo, my little one! Hey, yo, my fucking lit! He destroys all his cars within, in and out. <laughs> To me, there's nothing in the world, like, once you're in the car, I, I kind of have, like, I, I don't know if uh, this is a little uh, old reference, but remember uh, uh, with Sylvester Stallone over the top when he used to have the hat on forward? And then, you know, when he gets in the zone, he would turn it backwards and it'd be like a switch, right? I'm this, like, really calm dude. Like, I don't talk much, but get me in the car, you know, get that adrenaline going, and I'm a totally different animal. I, I was always good at driving, and I didn't always have the best car. I got a lot of hate from a lot of people, you know? Like, they'd be nice in your face, but they wouldn't want to help you with anything. That's what the whole Empire Boy thing is. Because we've been there. You know, we've had all these doors closed in our face, and uh, we still we still keep pushing on. Because it's expensive, you know? If you don't have a, a tire sponsor, or even just to get to the track. That's why this street thing is so big. I would love to go to the track during the, the weekdays. You know, it's not easy, I'll tell you, but uh, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing, you know what I mean? I want to make it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be big in this motorsports, and I'm not gonna give up until I do. We're in the expensive part of town now. Wish we could stop in the Fendi right now. Fendi Louis. Shit. I hope I'm not spilling with these cops. My dream of making it and my job do conflict. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. You know what I mean? If you have it in you, anybody can make it. What I try to help the younger kids that are out is take it a little bit more the safe way. Practice in your lots. If you still want to do your donuts or whatever, find somewhere safe to do it instead of doing it in the streets. There's just so many things to learn. Going to the track, if you're definitely into the car or bike world, you definitely need to experience it. The thrill, the excitement, it's, it's a feeling that you can't get anywhere else. got out of work. Now I'm gonna give you a little tour of the house. I live downstairs, my father lives upstairs. And this is some of his, this is a 1940 Nash, which is super rare. Inside we have a 1952, right dad? Yeah. And uh, these are uh, his babies. This is where I got the, the motorsports from. This guy right here. I got everything from this guy over here. And, and he used to be a cement truck driver. Here I am, the twin towers are being built. That's me in the truck taking the picture there. And my father's got a deep history, man. 
This was on uh, Dittmar's Boulevard. At three years old, even then, I, I knew I wanted to get behind the wheel. So uh, to give a little tour inside, the reason that I have no room in here, because my father, like, hogs everything up, they had broken into my house and stole my motorcycle three times. So now what I do is to avoid any of that, <laughs> I'll show you what I did. Here you can see. So this is uh, one of my bikes here. This is a uh, 500 uh, KTM EXE. And this is what I ride every day. This is what I stunt on. I even take this to the track. And this bike I picked up last year. There's a 390 Cup KTM, and it's fully set up for the track. I mean, I ride it on the street too, but sh nobody should know about that. Actually, a lot of people keep their stuff in the living room. You know what I mean? One thing I was good at from the jump was, was speed, man. This car is a CSM3. It originally came in black. That's a Lamborghini green. So I got sponsored by Pristine Motorsports. You know, of course, the Empire Boys, Stunex, which I have a little piece of, and the other sponsors that are on my car, you know, my friend's jewelry, Periano Sue Company, and then Il Forno Bakery, which we got to go have some rainbow cookies over there. <laughs> We're done. I'm telling you, man, it blows away the regular M3. I've taken Porsche turbos already, kept up with them holding the road at, at high speed. I'm really impressed by this car. I didn't know you could talk so much. Huh? See, it's when it comes to cars, I talk a lot. <laughs> when I was a young man, the cars were always pretty much under control. Not like the cars today, they're just too fast. It's crazy how, you know, it, this has been going on for 60 years, you know? If, uh, with, the, if, with the drag racing and, you know, like yeah. it, it, my father, it's, it's like funny how we do the same thing. It's instilled right. in my blood, you know? But it's not easy because you know, there's all these doors that are closed because of, you know, what you don't have. If you don't have the right car, if you're not around the right people. You know, I had to fight my way, always fighting my way. Even now, all my spending money goes into, you know, the car payments, the bike payments, whatever, tires, because, you know, you see, I'm always letting loose. So basically every week I, 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 I spend my whole check on, on, on cars and motorsports. This is more of like for guys to come out like a test day. If you mm -hmm. like, if you have a race weekend, this is like a test day. Like you get out on the track in your boots, you push yourself, and it's a very controlled environment. There's going to be a lot of information, a lot of instruction, a lot of talking. The track is not a joke. They call it a little bull ring, my mark. I mean, shit goes wrong all the time there. You'll get a really good vibe. I, I think you guys are going to have a great day. We're at Lime Rock Park right now, one of the most famous tracks on the East Coast. As you can see, we got uh, overcast today, so the track is like really slippery. We actually had the first session, the instructors went out, the instructors, and crashed into the wall. So like, you know, nerves are on edge right now. Today, I'm just, I, I want to run with the big boys because there are a lot of uh, guys that actually race out here. I'm going to be going out with a, a friend of mine, Nick, who's an actual racer too. And he's going to go over a lot of the techniques and what to do and, and, and what not to do. To become a driver, it is expensive. When one wants to become a professional race car driver, I say good luck. Joey certainly has the foundation to, to be a stepping stone for a career in motorsport. I'm hoping from my experience that'll help me to excel a little quicker because I do have a lot of experience with actual racing, you know, industry. <laughs> I'm gonna feel out the track on my first session and we'll take it from there. We're ready to go live, baby. That's your seating position? Yeah. Put your wrist on top of the steering wheel. If you're too far, move forward. Move forward, 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 more, more. That's where you wanna be. The hands are always, always in the groove, always. So you're entering turn one and three in third gear. Yeah, you're gonna see. Everything is gonna be, actually this whole track is gonna be third and fourth. Yeah. That's it. This is a very short track. It's only about like, you know, a minute or so around. So if you make a couple of mistakes, you like screw the whole pattern up. So you gotta really, you know, be focused. Humbles you because you think you're like the baddest on the street, and you could be, but you come here and you get put in your place real fast. Riding around with Nick Zach, he's a real professional racer. He's really seasoned. He's grabbing the steering wheel. I'm like, I want to tell him to get off. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but I know I got to learn, and he's showing me. When Nick got behind the wheel, it was a whole different ball game. He like shut the whole session down. 
He was just like smacking around everybody. To get everybody scared to death. Where I was kind of equal to what he was doing is down the, the straight because I'm used to in the street, I'm used to very high speed, so that doesn't scare me at all. So that's why I was passing mostly all of the group. And I'm really good like from the motorcycle world. I'm good like, you know, from the endos and I'm used to the control, the brake control. You gotta learn all these mark points. I just got a school in right now, you know what I'm saying? I could see where my mistakes were. I saw a lot of the areas that I was going slow that I thought the car was kind of at the limits and he like doubled the speeds. <laughs> so now I know next time out, a little better, the track is drying off, which is a very good thing. And uh, we'll take it from there. If these flies will leave me alone. First day meeting Joey, his skill set's actually very good. He needs a little work, but everybody needs work. This is his first time here on this racetrack. It's all about consistency, practice, seat time. You will become better. You can't get worse. Having another person in the car, it weighs you down and it offsets the suspension. So I want to kind of get the feel of, you know, by myself a little too, and just like make my own mistakes. From the morning, like I got on, it was shaky, you know, it was a lot slower, so I actually cut my time in half, even in the rain. There's a lot to learn, you have to want to learn. You have to want to listen and listen to your coaches, which I did all day today. He just kept giving me the thumbs up on every apex, and when I came out of the corners, this last session, I finally, the, the lines that you helped me out with, the breaking points, I felt a, really comfortable. You, you really turned the wick up. When you were just lapping everybody, that, you turned that wick up, and that's when I knew, I was like, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna leave home happy. Definitely, I'm, I'm super happy, and I really yeah. appreciate all the work, and the, that you guys welcomed me in here today with uh, open arms, and that, to me, is, is more than doing good today. You know Very I mean? welcome. There's still, like, a super long way to go, and if I'm gonna really put this down and, and try to get into this world, I really have to put a lot of work in, and, and I'm willing to do it. You really have to make an effort to market yourself. It really sucks in a way that it's so much money, you know, because like a day like today, it cost me $1,000 to, to come here, you know, between the tires, the track day, you know. You really got to love it and you got to want it. No matter how much experience that you have in the streets, when you come here, you really realize that you start from zero.